Hi, and welcome to Think Tech Hawaii. My name is Kim Lau, and this show is called Hawaii Rising. The focus of the show is on people helping others to develop the community as well as, um, as, well as uh, the economy, because that's the only way that we'll be able to create a sustainable future for Hawaii. So some might not believe that um, investing is in market strategies is very important for nonprofit organizations, but it actually is quite beneficial for nonprofits to market themselves. Um, nonprofits can use marketing tactics to assist with growth, funding, and prosperity, and um, helping to let people know what their mission actually is. Because um, nonprofits need to engage in diverse groups of stakeholders, so they have people that um, fund them as well as clients that they serve, and they need to market to both these audiences. They need to show their experiences, their products, their behaviors, their causes, and market the organization themselves. Um, so their marketing can be very complex. Despite of the lack of a huge resources for marketing campaigns in the nonprofit world, um, there are nonprofit organizations that have some of the highest brand recogni recon recognition <laughs> and loyalty. And some of these pro nonprofits you might recognize, such as the Red Cross, UNICEF, um, the Boys and Girls Club, and also Girl Scouts of America. So today, I'd like to introduce you to an organization who is trying to help local nonprofits to create this marketing and brand recognition here in Hawaii. So we have on our show today, Debbie Lee from Adup Hawaii. Welcome to the show, Debbie. Thanks. So um, this is, Adup Hawaii is not your actual job, right? No, so I'm actually working at American Savings Bank as their marketing specialist. Um, I'm just doing Adup Hawaii on the side as a volunteer project kind of thing. So marketing and advertising is your actual profession? Yes, so I've been in the industry for about five years. Um, so not too long, but I'm still, I'm still kind of getting my feet wet. I'm actually learning a lot through Adap Hawaii as well. Okay, so um, why do you think Adap Hawaii is beneficial for nonprofits here? Well, a lot of nonprofits in Hawaii, they don't have the budget for marketing, and marketing is actually one of the most important things for an organization, especially if you're a nonprofit, to get the word out. So um, this is kind of our way for marketing professionals to give back to the community. I see. So a lot of you out there might be wondering, what is Adapoi? So let's talk about that next. Um, let's talk about what, what Adapoi actually is. So Adapoi is a team-based marketing campaign competition. So we have marketing and advertising professionals come together to create little mini agency teams. Um, and what they do is they create custom marketing campaigns for our selected nonprofits um, for Adup Hawaii. So this year we actually have four nonprofits that have been selected and we're in the process of gathering our professionals to want to come and volunteer. And how long has Adup Hawaii been doing this? This is our third year. And um, how many, so you said there's four nonprofits this year. Um, is that kind of the normal trend of how many nonprofits are chosen in the last couple of years? It kind of varies from year to year. Um, the first year we had, I want to say five. Last year we had six, so we kind of increased it a little, but this year we're going back down to four. So it's just, we're still kind of playing with the numbers. And can you give me some examples of some of the nonprofits that have participated and perhaps won the last couple of years? So um, the first year, which was 2014, um, the winner was Kumukuhua Theater. And last year, our winners was Hugs. So they both received custom marketing campaigns um, through Adup Hawaii. And if you don't win, um, if you're not the winner, can you still take what that marketing campaign mm -hmm. that was provided? So actually, everybody at the event is a winner, whether you're a marketing professional or a nonprofit. So all the nonprofits, um, they walk away with free, a free custom marketing campaign. And all the marketing professionals, you get to network and just meet different different people in the industry, so you walk away with new friends and new contacts. I see. Um, and this year, I understand that Adup Hawaii integrated a new part into this, um, not just marketing. Mm -hmm. So we do have a new component this year. It's called the Tiger Team event. So what this, we, what we've noticed in the past was that um, although these, winner, these winners won um, custom marketing campaigns, they weren't really able to implement these marketing campaigns. Um, and we found out maybe because they weren't ready, the organization wasn't ready 
for this marketing campaign. So what we did was we did this new Tiger Team event and we gather like operations experts, HR professionals, lawyers, attorneys, um, finance professionals, and business strategists. And they all come together to do a, a comprehensive assessment on uh, the nonprofits that are interested in participating. And this was already completed for this year's session? Yes, so that was held in July. Um, ADAP usually falls around the fall time every year, so it was that was a new part this year, so it kind of brought our ad update a little earlier. So again, um, the purpose of the Tiger Team is maybe uh, getting the nonprofits ready mm -hmm. for an actual marketing campaign because you can't really market anything if you don't have a, product, a good product or service mm -hmm. ready to go to market. Yeah, and even if they're not ready, they walk away with knowing what to do for their organization. Oh, that's right, because we're talking like um, business strategy, maybe like um, business plans mm -hmm. or looking at your finances, like your general ledger or things like that. Um, which is kind of the foundation for any type of profit or nonprofit mm -hmm. organization. Yeah, so they got a lot of feedback from these different professionals on what what's, what is going very well and what they need help on as well. So And also like lawyers, you said like employee law and things like mm -hmm. that. And so I think that's good because they probably wouldn't be able to afford this mm -hmm. type of like professional services in general, yeah. right? And it's all free. Yeah, that's amazing. So maybe next year more nonprofits will um, think about. I, I guess how did it go this year? Um, this year went very well. Um, so we got a lot of feedback from the volunteers as well as the nonprofits. Um, it's it was interesting for all these different volunteers to come together and work because they don't really work with people from these different industries. So it was kind of nice to see them mingle and hear feedback from these different, I guess, perspectives of the business. Right, it's so like a lawyer and an HR person mm -hmm. or a fundraising person, yeah. right? Or an accountant, right? Mm -hmm. So um, both sides, like both the, the professionals and the nonprofits found that it was just that exercise in itself was value added? Yes, it was. Nice. So I guess that'll be part of um, the program next year going forward? Yes, I think we're going to start implementing that. It'll just, it'll... It will streamline the process a little more so the nonprofits will know whether they're ready to participate in ADOP or if they should, you know, hold off another year or so. Right. Yeah, so even if they don't, like you said, even if they don't go forward mm -hmm. in the marketing campaign portion of ADOP, it was still value added for them to look at their foundation first. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, so ADOP is, uh, is a nonprofit sort of thing it's it's not like you're making money off of this no so we do have sponsors uh, this year Kaiser Permanente is our presenting sponsor and we also have First Hawaiian Bank Pro Service and also the Arts at Mark's Garage uh, sponsoring the events this year oh nice and um, I guess who was was um, Kaiser your sponsor last year also they were okay nice um, so when is the actual add up marketing campaign, um, I guess, competition itself? Mm -hmm. So that is actually on Saturday, September 24th. Um, it's a full day's worth, um, it's a full day's event. So while these marketing professionals are working on these campaigns, we also have workshops for nonprofits. So these workshops are to kind of educate them more about marketing and how to market your nonprofit. Um, th this workshop is $10, it includes lunch. And some of our past workshops included branding, um, social media, and we also had a media panel last year that had people from different, I guess, media groups. We had like Hawaii News Now and um, some radio reps, so. Oh yeah, um, so like print, TV, mm -hmm. radio, yes. like different like media mm -hmm. types. Yeah, so they're able to ask questions and interact with the media panel to see what stories will catch their attention to get their story on air or on print. So when, uh, the day of the actual um, marketing competition event. Mm -hmm. So the, the nonprofits that are in the event, will they be working directly with the professional teams? Um, not so much. The professional teams, they go off on their own and then we'll have you know, our lunch break where they can kind of collaborate again with their nonprofits oh, and kind of touch base, make sure they're going in the right direction. But other than that, the professionals are all on their own and they see. see the results at the end when they present. Oh, so it's a surprise. The marketing campaign is yes. a surprise for the nonprofits that mm -hmm. are participating. 
but the nonprofits can come during the entire day for these workshops. Yes. But not only the nonprofits that are in the event. It's are, open to everyone. Everyone, so not just nonprofits yes. too. So whether you're interested in learning more about marketing, uh, social media, or you know anything about that, it's open to anybody. It's ten dollars. Um, we're still, I think, we're still finalizing our workshops for this year, but it should be good. Okay, and, and tell me again, what date is it? It's on Saturday, September twenty fourth. So it's a full day event. Um, it starts at eight a.m. and it ends at six thirty p.m. So our winners are announced at six thirty, and then we're gonna have a wrap up party after that. So. And is there a fun. website for people to kind of check out what who, maybe who's presenting at the workshops or such? Um, so they can check out our website at ohoi.com. Um, all the information should be up there soon. Okay, and then they can register for the event off of the um, a link on the website. Yes. Okay, and um, maybe can you give an example of some of the um, the media professionals, or not media, but I guess um, advertising professionals that participate and maybe like people who have done the workshop in the past? Mm -hmm. Well, we have a bunch of people coming to the workshops. So I don't know exactly, I guess, who was representing what, but we saw lots of um, representations from different local nonprofits last year. Um, and as far as marketing professionals, we have people participating who work on like the client side and as well as agency side. So we have like MVMP and Anthology um, people there as well to offer their professional help. I see. And so, um, again, what type of marketing professionals um, are participating in this sort mm -hmm. of event? So we're looking for account service people, for creatives, like copywriters, graphic designers. Um, yeah. <laughs> OK, that's awesome. Well, that sounds like a really cool event. And uh, we're going to take a quick break right now. But uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about how uh, nonprofits as well as um, professionals can get more involved if they want to participate in this year's event. So um, this is uh, Kim Lau with Think Tech Hawaii. The show is called Hawaii Rising. Aloha, my name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome. We are co-hosts of a show called Keys to Success, which is live on the Think Tech Live Network series, weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We're looking forward to seeing you then. Aloha! Hi, I'm Chris Leatham with The Economy and You, and I'd like to invite you each week to come watch my show each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I'm the host of Center Stage, which is on Wednesdays at 2 o'clock here on Think Tech. On Center Stage, I talk with artists about not only what they do and how they do it, but the meat of the conversation for me is why they do it, why we go through this. A lot of us are not making our livings doing this, and a lot of us would do this with our last dying breath if we had that choice. And that's what I love to talk to people about. I hope you enjoy watching it, and I hope you get inspired because there's an artist inside you too. Join us on Center Stage at 2 o'clock on Wednesdays. Bye. Hi, and welcome back to Think Tech Hawaii. My name is Kim Lau, and this show is called Hawaii Rising. Today on the show, we have Debbie Lee, who's on the planning committee for Out of Hawaii. And we we're just talking about the Out of Hawaii event. So again, what's the date for the actual Out of Hawaii marketing campaign um, competition? So the actual event is on Saturday, September 24th at the Box Jelly from 8 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. And we just saw a commercial with featuring Donna Blanchard, who mm -hmm. was actually the first winner of Out Up, because mm -hmm. she's the executive director of Kumukuhu Theater. So um, hopefully Donna will be there, and um, she can share her experiences and um, how it went for her. Yeah, so she was our, our winner of our first year, and she's actually part of our um, Add Up committee right now. So she's, we're getting a lot of input from her, what, what, what went well and what we need to improve on, and just from the nonprofit um, standpoint. Oh, for that, the event. that's good that you take into consideration like um, how things went in the past. And mm -hmm. again, that's why you added the Tiger Team um, event as well. Mm -hmm. So um, like we're saying, how can, first of all, nonprofits get involved in this year's Out of Hawaii event? So for this year's event, the actual nonprofits, we've actually selected our, our final four nonprofits. Um, so that is closed for this year, but we do have the marketing workshops available for um, the other nonprofits, if they're interested. Um, it will also be at Box Jelly, and it will be $10 per person, including lunch. Um, they'll learn 
a lot, whether it's like branding, social media. Um, well, we're still working up our schedule, but we should have that finalized soon. And so that will be from 8 to 8.30 to 6, is that what you said? Well, the workshops start a little later. Okay. I don't have, I think it's around 9 or okay. so. Um, they can come early. We, we're going to have breakfast and the so workshops for, will start after that. So for $10, that. you get oh, pretty much a whole day's worth of workshop, breakfast and lunch. Yeah. That's a pretty good deal. <laughs> that is. <laughs> and so that, that's things that everyone could use, like social mm -hmm. media, branding, marketing, things like that. Mm -hmm. Like, that'd be interesting for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I, I guess it, um, what you're saying is that it's not just nonprofits that can attend. It can be general public or even for-profit for profit companies mm -hmm. can attend as well, yes. the workshops itself. Mm -hmm. And um, what about if professionals want to get involved in um, maybe volunteering for Add Up? Mm -hmm. So we're actually on the search for, I guess, marketing professionals to help out with Adult Hawaii. So our first mixer is this Thursday at the Arts at Mark's Garage at 5.30 p.m. So this mixer is just a networking mixer for um, all these marketing professionals to come together and just to network <coughs> and, you know, mingle. Um, we're going to have a second mixer. That will be September 22nd, which is two days before the actual event. And these marketing professionals will be actually trying to create their teams that night. So we're going to have some fun activities where they can bond with their team and just kind of meet each other and be comfortable <coughs> with each other before Excuse the actual me. event. <coughs> Sorry. So um, how can people sign up for these events? So for the, for the first mixer <coughs> on Thursday, um, you can register at adduppromixer.eventbrite.com. Okay, that was one more time. Add up promixer.eventbrite.com. And that will register them for the Mixer at Arts at Marks? Yes. And is there a charge for that? No, it's completely free. So both mixers are completely free? Yes, and we're going to have, um, we're going to serve light poo poo's, so free food. Yeah, so there'll be free food and then you can buy drinks if you want. Mm -hmm. And um, and all any, all marketing professionals are invited to come for free? Yes. Okay, nice. And so, um, can you give those dates one more time? Sure. So the first mixer is this Thursday, August 25th. It'll be from 5.30 to 8 o'clock at the Arts at Mark's Garage. And the second mixer will be on Thursday, September 22nd, from 5.30 to 8 o'clock at Bar 35. Okay. So again, this is not like uh, you have to come and, and do anything. Um, hardcore at these events like it's mostly a professional mixer mm -hmm. to meet other professionals in the industry and then kind of feel out if you want to participate in the actual add up um, competition mm -hmm. so this event is just a like an informational kind of thing where you can learn more about add up and how you volunteering will help benefit these nonprofits I see and so maybe can you describe um, what the the day would be like for people who want to, uh, for professionals that want to volunteer for the actual add up event, maybe what, what would that competition day be like? Mm -hmm. So I, they should be arriving around 8 o'clock. We do have some stragglers coming in that haven't registered <coughs> or joined the team. So we'll have those people and we'll separate them into groups. And once they come together, we're all going to come together as a group, do an introduction of add up and thank you for, you know, thank you for volunteering. And we'll also have some word for, from our sponsors as well. And then after we get, get that situated, we'll have a team captain from each team come up and select a nonprofit out of the hat. <coughs> oh, so, so it's a surprise. Yes. So it's completely random. They don't know who they're going to get. So you can't, you know, research the nonprofit the night before or prepare for it in any way. And so once the, um, the teams and the nonprofits that the team will be representing is selected, then how would they go forward creating like a campaign? Mm -hmm. So the They'll all be in like a meeting room or some sort of the box jelly. We're going to have the nonprofit join them for the first 15 minutes or so just to kind of brief them on their nonprofit, see if they have any questions. Um, the team is going to have access to their application, which has all the information about the nonprofit. Um, kind of analyze that from there. And then the nonprofit's going to join the workshop, which will be held outside in the main area at the box jelly while the team is collaborating on the marketing campaign. I see. And at the, um, so who, picks or judges on um, 
who the winner is. There, there's a winner, right? Yes. So we are going to have judges. We're still working on our judges, but we're going to have maybe about five or six judges um, this year, um, like top execs from you know top companies in Hawaii. Um, so it's <coughs> it's a good networking event where you can right. you know meet these these judges um, and just you know create more contacts. So there is a winner at the end, and they get a perpetual trophy, and they have bragging rights to you know winning the competition. Nice, but again, like you said, everyone, every nonprofit that participates comes away with a marketing campaign that was designed especially for them. So yeah. they can take that and choose to go forward with it if they want. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, that's pretty cool. And, and again, all of this is free. Yes. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, so if they were to pay for something like this, could you estimate how much these types of professional services are actually worth? Mm -hmm. Well, of course, it depends on the marketing campaign, but it would, I guess, on the <clears throat> low end of the stick, it would be around $30,000. Oh, wow. Yeah, to actually implement an actual marketing campaign. But this, they have, they're going to do the outline for you, pretty much have the backbone for it. It's just implementing the campaign. So can you maybe describe what a campaign would be like? Would it be a print ad or would it be mm -hmm. like a commercial? Or maybe give an example of um, some of the previous years, what people came away with. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, it depends on the campaign. So it could include commercials. But like how we had this <clears throat> year, the Tiger Team event. So the reason why we had that was because some of the nonprofits weren't ready to implement their marketing campaign that they you know, that, that they walked away with at the end of Ada Hawaii. But they were really grateful for, you know, that whole experience and just having that and meeting people from different, you know, professions. Um, our past winner, Kumu Kuhua Theater, they had, they actually worked with a bunch of freelancers at the first Ada Up and they actually hired one of them. Oh. So the, he actually works with them on a regular basis. Oh, so again, that's another way for maybe not just professionals to network, but for the nonprofits to network with the professionals that they yeah. might not ever be in contact with. Mm -hmm. And then they can come away with, I guess professionals can offer to help them in mm -hmm. the future pro bono, or they can h hire them for mm -hmm. professional services. Yeah, so it benefits both sides. Yeah, that's cool. So did um, those freelancers, did they make like a a commercial maybe for Kumu or um, they haven't but I think they're I think they do advertising for a Kumu Kumu theater I'm not too sure exactly what they do but I know um, Donna mm. works really closely with him and they work on a regular basis so oh nice but for the um, the competition itself mm -hmm. what kind of I guess marketing was it an outline for like a, a commercial or that they would they would win Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's an outline for, I guess, their marketing campaign for their entire organization. Oh, so it would be like branding yes. and like kind of their direction. Mm -hmm. and then or they if they have like an event that they're trying to promote, like how to tie this event back to their organization to help sell it to the public so it's more oh. appealing to attend or... Or it like, um, I guess, matches their mission yes. and then shows how it furthers their goals and mm -hmm. values and such. Oh, I see. Because that, that's really hard for um, any organization is, is to, you know, brand and advertise and market and mm -hmm. things like that and cohesively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of nonprofits, they don't, they don't have marketing departments or, like, they don't outsource because of their budget. So it's really beneficial for them when they participate in Ad Hawaii. Whether they implement it or not, they know what they walk away knowing what they need to work on and what they're doing great at. Oh, that's true. So even if they don't, like you said, actually implementing, like going out and making a commercial mm -hmm. or like buying space for a print ad or something like that is really expensive. It can cost up to like $30,000. But even if they can't afford to go forward with those types of things, they like have a brand in mind or they have like a vision of where mm -hmm. where they should be heading as an organization. Yes. I see. And, and like you said, uh, the, having the participate in the Tiger Team sessions, you know, that furthers their like business and finance and like mm -hmm. kind of foundation of their their organization. Mm -hmm. So it gives the organization as well as their board members something to work with and what to strive towards. That's true. So it, I mean, out of Hawaii isn't just marketing now, right? It's it's kind of helping them with their 
business. Yeah, their whole organization. And again, all of these services are free. Yes. That's amazing. That's really cool that nonprofits, that people, that professionals in the community actually want to help nonprofits mm -hmm. with these types of services. Yeah. And do you find that, um, I guess, professionals that participate in these events, they want to maybe do it again, or they offer their services pro bono for the teams that they're working with? Mm -hmm. So we actually have some <clears throat> people returning this year that have participated in the past two years. They just, they said it was a great experience and the event was, it was really worthwhile. So they wanted to, you know, continue giving back to the community. It's only one day. Right. Um, so it's not a big commitment. Yeah. Nice. And um, are you aware of other, um, I guess, when the nonprofits and the professionals meet, are you aware that they, um, they said, oh, if you need help in the future, just give me a call or something mm -hmm. like that? We do have some professionals that reach out to the nonprofit that they worked with to see if they, you know, they do need help bringing their marketing campaign further or kind of tips on, you know, what, what else they can do with it. Nice. That's really cool that um, you can make those connections mm -hmm. as well. So um, again, can you give me the dates for the mix, the two mixers mm -hmm. that are coming up and then the actual add up um, competition itself? Sure. So the first mixer is this Thursday, August 25th. It'll be at the Arts at Mark's Garage. That's going to be from 530 to 8 o'clock. Um, you can RSVP for that event at addupromixer.com or addupromixer.eventbrite.com. And then the second mixer will be on September 22nd. That's a Thursday as well. That'll be from 5.30 to 8 o'clock at Bar 35 in downtown. So that one you can RSVP at addupteammixer.eventbrite.com. And then all of this information is on the Addup Hawaii website? Yes. Or you can like us on Facebook. Um, you'll get our updates. So you, if you're interested in participating next year, then you can also, you know, get our updates and kind of know what's, what's happening with us. Oh, nice. So if they want to follow you, then just like you on Facebook. Yes. Nice. Well, thank you so much for being here today and sharing um, the information on the Out of Hawaii events that are coming up. So any nonprofits or professionals out there that would like to participate in the events, um, just refer to the adapawaii.com website or like them on Facebook. So my name is Kim Lau and this show has been Hawaii Rising. Thank you again, Debbie Lee, for coming. Thanks for having me.